In this part of the review, I'll demonstrate some highlights of the Epson XB850 multifunction printer. Setting up is relatively easy. Just power up the printer and the clear 8.8cm .8 touchscreen will prompt you for each action. Select your language, country or region, set the daylight saving time option, set the date format and then enter the current date and time. Once this has been completed, the printer will prompt you to install the inks. The XP850 printer is supplied with six Clarier HD inks, which includes a pigment black and five colours. This set is a starter set for setting up the printer. The cartridge design is totally new, so it will not be compatible with other Epson multifunction printers. Open the printer case via the side grips and this lifts the whole scanner unit up and the printhead cradle moves into position ready for the inks to be installed. Remove the yellow cap on each cartridge and fit each ink into its correct slot. Inks can be easily removed by pressing the blue button to release the cartridge. The yellow caps should be kept a resealed ink cartridge should you need to remove it at any stage, and a bag is supplied for this purpose. Close the cover and the printer will begin an initialising process, which will take about 7 minutes. Once completed, you can use the LCD menu screen to choose the various functions. The LCD panel can be swivelled up or down for access to the media cassettes. The top tray is for small photo media, 3.5 x 5 inches, 6 by 4 or 5 by 7 inch paper sizes. Directly below is the main paper cassette. This is for A4 or letter size and smaller. At the bottom is the CD DVD tray. This is now a removable tray. On previous multifunction printers this was a motorized tray. This is stored at the bottom but fits into a slot above the cassette trays when printing. At the back of the unit is a speciality media holder and this accommodates single sheets of heavy photo media. The support is perhaps a bit on the flimsy side but the paper guide is well constructed and very smooth running. Also at the rear is the ability to clear paper jams. Just remove the back and remove any jammed paper. Besides Wi-Fi, the printer also supports USB and Ethernet ports. There is also a telephone socket for the fax function, plus an extra socket for an extension phone. On the other side is a two-pin power supply socket. Moving to the front, the memory card readers are located behind a well-concealed door. SD, memory stick and compact flash cards, amongst others, are supported and there's also a PIC bridge port for compatible cameras. When a memory card is inserted, the printer reads the card and preview images are created. Now select which function you want. I've selected Print. Select the media size and other printer settings, such as media type, and then press the Print button. The motorized LCD panel moves up and the motorized paper catcher tray extends. The printer whirs into action. I used our PhotoEye test chart which was stored on a memory card for the first print. This displays vibrant colours throughout, albeit with a slight shift towards cool. And the portrait of Sophie does look very good. We will cover the finer details of printing in the written section on this review. The scanner for photos is perhaps basic and there isn't any film scanning facility. However, for office work, there's an automatic document feeder which works faultlessly on my test documents. This is perhaps a feature that you may not need, and I also include the fax module. Not sure if anybody still uses faxes these days. Photo scanning is easy. Just place a photo on the flatbed and select where you want to send the scan. Memory card, cloud or PC. Select the file type, JPEG or PDF color or black and white and press the start button. Once completed the file is saved to a new folder on the memory card or your computer. 
there are limited editing features available for printing from scans or memory cards, which include photo adjustments and cropping. Select the media settings and press the print button. The printer automatically opens the media tray and produces a print of the scan. We'll cover the printer in far more detail in our written section. For a more detailed review of the Epsom XP850, visit the PhotoEye website at www.photoeye.co.uk.